You can't f with me. I will smoke your ass and you change all these things and you learn how to sell, but you don't learn how to speak. You're still out. I don't get what I want, I get what I need. Every single day I'm heading off to my dream and I get everything that I damn well please. I don't give a damn if you all listening to me because I'm running. I'm Is everybody in this room a public speaker? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes, you all are a public speaker. For a living, you guys all speak. Every single person in this room, I've talked to a lot of you, you're not very good at speaking. You don't understand that you get paid to speak for a living. You may not enter a stage, you get paid for a living to speak. And honestly, if I pulled you up here and I told you, hey, but teach the room everything you know, you would learn you're not as good at speaking as you think you are. So what does that mean? That means your income is probably about 20% of what it could be if you could learn to speak better. Am I correct? Yeah. This is the secret. You guys all speak for a living. I don't ever want to hear any bullshit come out of your mouth again. I want you to talk and speak like you're a professional speaker, like you get paid to speak for a living, and 24-7 there is a camera following you around, listening to everything that comes out of your mouth. I want everything that you say to anybody, right, I want it to change their life. Whether it's you walking in the grocery store and saying hi to somebody and just telling them that they look amazing today, hey, I don't need anything from you. You look amazing. Hope you have a blessed day. Always bring value to other people. Understand this mouthpiece will be the one thing that will get you everything you're after. And if you change your identity and you change all these things and you learn how to sell, but you don't learn how to speak, you're still out. It's about skill stacking. Everybody write this down, 100 micro skills. Today, my goal is for you to learn 100 micro skills, uh, to learn 100 different ways to add something to skill stack, to stack skills in your current life, okay? You sell with your heart, not your mouth. The minute somebody, somebody hears or feels or thinks that your heart's not involved, they're out. Listen, remember what I said, okay? We are a body. All of you have a body, but all of you have a soul. And this soul is gonna live on forever. And this soul can understand when you're around another soul that truly cares. Am I correct? Yeah. Okay. I tell people this saying, I say the eyes are the window to the soul. I can look in someone's eyes and I can tell what's going on in their life. I can look into someone's eyes and I can see your heart. I can listen to the way that you talk to me and I can tell whether you really care about me or whether you really don't. Now in the beginning, sometimes we've got to crack jokes, have fun, meet people, pull the wall down. You guys feel me? Build rapport, right? My heart's on the sleeve, but they can't feel it. But in due time, 10 minutes in, people can start to understand that you lean into your heart. I've built multiple seven and eight figure businesses all over the telephone in under three years. Well, I'm going to open up the doors for you. I have partnered with the legendary Andy Elliott, and he has built a nine figure business in literally record time. I'm going to give you the exact blueprint on how to generate seven figures in 12 months or less. You need to run a new play in order to get different results. June 1st, I want you to clear your calendar and I'm going to see you at the lion's den. This is one you're not going to want to miss. Click the link below. If nothing changes, nothing's going to change. And that you're not only talented and good because a lot of people wonder if you're just really skilled and great and they're being put together, which leads them into avoidance, which means they're afraid to make a mistake because you're too good. Do you guys hear me? For everyone in this room that learns everything I've ever taught, if you don't put your heart into it, you still won't make it. And there's a close called the avoidance close in which people have no objection and they just say, we appreciate it, we're gonna get back with you. And I'll get back with you is not overcoming an objection. They don't feel in their gut that you're the person that they should do it with or this isn't the right time. And you know who fucked that up? You did. Why? Because you didn't lean into your heart. Now listen, this is where you have to care. Everybody understand this. If you want to get rich, if you want to get rich, you got to make relationships. Relationships are the greatest currency. Everybody you run into from now on, every person that you run into this event, every person that you meet, may you do such a good job that they can never forget you. Now, I want to tell you guys something. A lot of you don't want to do this. You know why? Because it's exhausting. And it's hard. It's also hard losing. It's also hard meeting people and realizing you were just another person. I love meeting people and they say, I don't know what it's about you, but you're different. I love that because I want to be different. That, that was my goal the whole time. 
I planned getting up today not being the same as everyone else. I planned today that everybody that I walked by made sure I gave them a hug, a high five, a pound, and let them know that, that they're important to me. I planned that. That was by design because that's how I live. And once you guys start living this way, you will start to slowly dust everybody. And part, part of being a psycho competitor is I'm insulated. You can't f with me. I will smoke your ass. Because even if you copy everything that I do or everything that I, that I believe, you're not who I am. And so who you guys become is literally the most important thing in this world. So when I say sell with your heart, you have to care to sell with your heart. I'm going to tell you something real quick. My wife, she checked my ass a long time ago. I came in the house. I was bitching and complaining. You know, I had a bad day at work. And she goes, dude, you sound like you don't care, man. And I say, yeah, well, I, she goes, dude, you, you sound like it's all about money. And I'm like, well, no, but, and she goes, dude, listen to me. Go to work tomorrow. Give a shit 10 times more than you gave a shit today and watch the outcome. And by the way, don't complain in this house because it makes it very hard for me to support a complainer. And I'm like, hey, she's right. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I'm being a little bitch. And a lot of you in here are little bitches. You really are. <laughs> and you and your wife. Like, you're both little bitches. You guys have both gotten used to nagging each other and being whiners and complainers that you guys live in a shit, a shit house. You don't have to. You can say, hey, we don't want to operate this way. We don't want to talk this way. We don't want to believe this way. Let's change. And so the next day I went into work and I remember giving my heart all day long. I made more money than I ever made. It was easier than it had ever been. I couldn't believe, man, if I just changed the way I cared about people, I could make more money. That is the secret. From that day forward, I decided no longer, everybody write this down. Everybody's the same, but people deliver information differently. I started delivering information differently to my clients and to my team and to my wife, to myself and my family because I wore my fucking heart on my sleeve. I had it right there with me. So even when the money was more than they wanted to pay, they still did it. Even when it was more than they wanted. Hey, it's always going to cost more than you want to pay. Am I right? Yeah. Do dreams come with the pay? Do, do dreams uh, come with a price? Yeah. yeah, if you don't pay the price, you don't, gotta, you, you don't get the dream. This will make you untouchable. This is the most secret thing ever is to make sure you sell with your heart. And by the way, I know this for a fact because I've sold cold hearted and have been, you know, like disciplined, grinding, working hard, but cold hearted. And I went broke. And then I've been loving, wore my heart on my sleeve. And people say, don't wear your heart on your sleeve because people will take advantage of you. No, if you take advantage of me, I will no longer be with you, but I'm going to continue to roll. Listen, just because you ran into some shitty people in life, if that's going to make you stop trying, you're a fool. Like your goal is to completely give all you got all the days of your life and understand that you are going to get taken advantage of. You're going to get played. People are going to rip you off. People are going to do these things. And it's just part of the journey of going to a big life. You guys get it? Okay, so now we're not going to bitch about it anymore. Now we're not going to whine about it anymore. Now we're not going to change who we are because of another bad person. Okay, some of you, my wife was saying this this morning. She's like, you know, this guy had this ex-girlfriend and she was a piece of shit. Well, now he's got this new wife and she's amazing, but he treats her shit. Dude, she needs to fucking leave. Why should she put up with that shit because of his ex? And he's got some old shit. That's like my mom left when I was two. She's an alcoholic. Imagine me being an alcoholic piece of shit to my kids or beating their asses all the time and being a bad dad because I say, well, that's the way my dad was. It's like, dude, you're so stupid, man. Every one of you in this room, you're in charge of you. You're in charge of your life. You can create whatever you want. I say, if you can't find it, build it, build it, build you. Listen, and as you're talking to us today, you don't have to be me, but you do need to take things that we've done that have got us to where we want to go. And we want you to be unique and be you. But I will tell you, try to do any of this without caring, having relationships, and playing with your heart. And by the way, you must do it when there's no transaction. You must do it when there's no money. What you do when there's no money involved, start stacking these little wins that you're good at this. Can you get people to move when you come in contact with them? If you can, then you can do it when you're in the close. But don't, if you can't do it when you're in the close, it's because you're not practicing it out here. So you guys need to practice on everybody you run into from now on. Everybody you run into, make sure that when you leave them, it's infectious and they don't want to leave you. And by the way, they want to become best friends with you. All people are like, dude, I need you in my life. 
and I just met you. That's it. Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.